I, I just wanted one day in the major leagues. And it got to the point where I literally would have done anything, and I did that first day when that needle went in. Um, very dark time. It was, uh, it was like a, a, a blanket of just dark. Midwestern town, Catholic family, um, sure, eight kids, mom and dad. Uh, dad worked like crazy. Um, mom was and still is an earthly angel, um, amazing woman. Um, she's, she's really um, the person I, she introduced me to Jesus. She, I saw Christ in her, and that's what was attractive to me. Yeah, went to Illinois State University. Um, Richard freshman, my junior year, um, 1992. Did not get drafted. Got a call from the Dodgers. Glenn Van Proyen was the scout, and he said, "Hey, there's no. We need a couple. We need a couple bodies in our short season A clubs. No guarantees here. Do you want to go play some pro ball?" And I said, well, "Yeah." Yeah, 1992, 1999, after you know, eight years in the minor leagues, I finally got my first call. The year before I got that call up to the big leagues in 99, I went down to Australia to play in winter ball. Time is running out, clockwise, getting older. Uh, 28 at the time, and long time to be in the minor leagues without being released or making it. So, not that I started panicking, but I started getting desperate. And uh, I met uh, a gentleman at the gym, and he was a big bodybuilder guy. And I said, uh, what do you know about steroids? And that's the road I started taking. The more I got into it, in terms of where my, where my mind was going with it, the kind of further I was pulling away from God to the point where I made the decision. I'm, I'm doing it. And it was, it was a horrible, shameful feeling. Um, it was, uh, it was oppressive. Yeah, it was, a, it was like a black blanket of just shame. And it was my secret, it was that there's going to be no confession at all. The first day I met my wife, when we had a meaningful conversation, the first meaningful conversation, it was unbelievable because she literally flat out just said, have you ever done steroids? And it was an immediate, no, 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 absolutely not. And so I carried that for years. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christ follower. How the condition of my heart got so hardened to where I can say, you know what, I got it now. Thanks for everything. I don't think you can, I, I can't trust you into, to getting me to my dream here. I'm gonna take it into my own hands. That's what, now, that's what kills me the most. That's what hurts the most. The fact that I could do that. <clears throat> yeah, there's no doubt that he loves us more than we can ever imagine. George Mitchell, a former senator, was commissioned to look into performance enhancing use in Major League Baseball. The horror of being found out, knowing that I'm about ready to be found out. No sleep, just that horrible pit in your stomach. And then when I saw my name scroll across the bottom of the TV, it was unbelievable. It was like, okay. It was like a weight like I've never felt being lifted. It was unbelievable. And I never, that night I never slept better. Never slept better. It had been all about me and all about where I wanted to go. Nothing else mattered. People didn't matter as much. I mean, it was about me and disgusting. It disgusted me. Now, um, playing career over, uh, being found out, uh, being a father, husband, 
What drives me now is the people that I'm in contact with daily, okay? How can I love them? How can I be a witness for Jesus? What, how can I make Jesus attractive to the people I'm around every day? The players, the coaches, the executives. How can I make Jesus famous? Because my whole life I was just trying to make myself famous. How can I make Jesus famous in what I'm doing? I think that's what drives me now.